This is unit eight. There's no life without books. My name's Anastasia and I'm here to work with you. Let's start. The lesson is called Take Part in a Book Fair. This is lesson seven. First, let's answer the questions that I have prepared for you. What's the best book you have ever read? What's the best book you have read recently? What's the video if you need to think your answer over? Let's answer one more question. Which book would you like to recommend to your friends and classmates? If you need some time to think, pause the video, but I'll be waiting for you, remember it. What is the best way to recommend a book? Definitely, this is to write a book review. Read how to write a book review and put its parts in a logical order. Pause the video for a minute. After this, continue reading. When you finish up, Put the parts in logical order. If necessary, come back to the previous slides to fulfill the task. Pause the video if necessary. Still some more information about the review. Yes, if necessary, you pause the video, come back to the previous slides in order to put them all into a proper logical order. And when you finish up, you check your answers. B J A C G E F I H. Now it's high time for us to listen to the review. And when the audio stops, I will scroll down so that you could see the rest of the text and check your understanding of it. Unit 8, Lesson 7, Exercise 3A. Best Friends is a book by Jacqueline Wilson, who is the author of more than 100 works, including award-winning books, The Suitcase Kid, The Lottie Project, Bad Girls, The Story of Tracy Beaker, Vicky Angel, and The Girls' Four Book Series. Best Friends is about a little girl called Gemma. She's a tomboy, always getting into trouble and annoying adults. But she's actually a lovely, real, believable child whom you can't but like. Her best friend is Alice, though they are completely the opposite. Alice is very girly with her dolls, ballet classes and pretty party dresses. They have been friends all their lives as they were born in the same hospital on the same day. They have celebrated all their birthdays together and have always been best friends, hoping it will be so forever. But then Alice's father gets a new job and they have to move house. The girls hate the idea of being separated. So they make up a plan to run away together. But what happens then? You'll have to read the book yourself to learn it. Best Friends examines the ending of one friendship and the beginning of a new one. But the author does not only examine the main characters. We also discover the relationships between children and their parents. Sometimes Gemma and Alice believe their parents are being unkind, but they also understand how helpful, kind and loving they are. We can also see the relationships between children and their grandparents. All of these are described in a realistic and believable way, where love is placed at the top, which is a great positive message for readers. Overall, 
the book is really fascinating, enjoyable and encouraging. The characters are so realistic that you are transported into their world and become part of it. It's an excellent read. Though it is more of a girly book than one for boys, everyone, including girls, boys and grown-ups, will find something interesting for themselves. Once they start reading it, they will end up swallowing a hundred pages at one sitting and only stopping because it's late at night. Okay, now let's read. Pause the video if necessary, but I believe that you already dealt with this page. That's why right now, continue reading, pause the video, attention to the word at the very bottom of the page, relationships stands for atmosphere. Some more reading, don't hurry, read attentively to check your understanding, pause the video if necessary. When you finish up, look through the answers. I believe you did it. Introduction, the body, characters, the plot, the theme, opinion, and finally, conclusion. Check everything and write the plan of a book review and tell your friends about the book using the plan. I wish you good luck. All the very best. See you soon. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.